As you know, uh, Charmaine, I have to leave, so please forgive me. I literally have only two minutes to address you. Um, I'm not sure what's democratic about overriding the result of the Brexit referendum in 2016 when 17.4 million people voted for Brexit despite all the scare stories <coughs> that we've just heard again from my friend uh, on my right. I'm glad that Khaled came along to speak about Bendy buses because I remember when he entered Parliament in 2001 just in time to vote for and proselytize for on the pages of the Observer and elsewhere the slaughter of a million people in Iraq. And the very idea that yeah, yeah. the no, election no. should be reduced to a discussion about the Bendy bus yeah, is, yeah, really, yeah, yeah. is really quite a praise, uh, I must say. Yeah, yeah. I'm standing yeah, because you know I didn't vote on that, you know that. I read your article. No, you know in yeah, 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 yeah. But defending. You know, but you know you defended yeah, yeah, yeah. the war you know, on Iraq. But you and know, you wrote but an you article. Wrote, George, as a matter of fact, somebody else wrote it for you. But it George, appeared in the know, Observer under your name, George, yeah, yeah. defending the slaughter of a George, million you know, people yeah, yeah. in Iraq. And you, and you want to talk about bending buses? You're having a laugh. If you're having a laugh, George. A laugh. George now, if you want to discuss yeah. this stage Shalim, at the end and one show what you're doing on stage, one moment, 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 can we move on to um, Peter Osborne from the Conservative Party? Thank you, George. George, haven't I got 15 minutes? I thought you were talking about George. Yeah. Um, George Galloway has um, left, so we have got the remainder of the panel. Um, I think it's only fair that we go back to um, Khalid Mahmood from the Labour Party so he can respond to the um, things that George Galloway said before he left. Over to you. George knows exactly uh, what happened on that vote. I'm sorry that he's had to run off. Uh, if he had the courage of his convictions, I was here totally to address the meeting for the next two hours if needed to take. I was here to stand my grounds. Unfortunately, uh, he ran off with a tail behind his legs uh, because he knew he could sustain the argument that he was trying to make. It's so unfortunate for people like him who go around the whole of the country carpet bagging, uh, thinking that they can stand anywhere without any connection to any constituency. Uh, and that is not right. And for him to just leave like this, I think is absolutely disgraceful and sets no example for any democracy or anybody standing as a member of parliament. I'm sorry he's had to go, but I think you, you see the courage of his con convictions and he's run off with the tail behind his legs. That was the response to the um, opening statement of George Galloway.